Hi guys, how are you all? Hope you all are doing well. I'm just sitting outside enjoying the sun since it's springtime. We're getting some sunlight in the backyard. And uh, yeah, so this uh, vlog video is about uh, this trip I made with my son um, just down the coast here in Northern California. And I don't know if this happens to you, but you know, I'm going to be an empty nester and I don't know where my confidence is gone. I've been so domesticated over the past few years that I'm like can I even travel can I even do things on my own uh, anymore because we've always done things as a family For, and originally I was thinking maybe I'll go to India but I don't have the confidence anymore to travel alone when I was young before kids I would just go to India and I would stop in Singapore and then I would stop in Hong Kong on the way back but now I'm kind of like nervous so i'm going to start with baby steps i'm just going to make a trip on my own uh with my son and um see how it goes it was chaotic because i was doing everything even though this destination is only about an hour and a half away uh but you know i had to do everything so you can see i we started driving i hadn't even taken a shower because i was taking it easy because it's close by and i went to the gym in the morning and then i was scrambling because i didn't want to be uh reach there late in the dark so so, so yeah, so I'm all messy, you know, you have to do everything, it, things don't go really as planned, but it, it was good, so take a look. Alrighty, we're ready to go, alright. I didn't even take a shower, we just kind of put everything in the car and left. And look at my son, he's a great help. It's about one and a half hours away and uh, we're setting out on a Monday. I've noticed that on Monday, even though it's commute time, it's not too bad because maybe because people take like a, a Monday off or a three day weekend. So I think that we, I think my guess is right. This is probably the reason why traffic's not terrible. Getting there guys, just five minutes away. And I'm the only one on this road, no one behind me either. Look behind me, no one. And I saw my first cow sighting and horses. Quite nice. We're in the country, countryside. It's beautiful. Okay, getting some help now. That's good, that's good. So guys, I've made a video on this place. I We came here last year as well and I just loved it and which is why I've come back and I hope to come back every year. So I'll put the link in the description of, the, of this place where we're staying and also a lovely hike we went on. And we're just coming back for the rest of the luggage. And I better show you the inside of the room before I, if, before we mess it all up. Some nice sculptures. And we stayed in that cottage there. But this time we're trying out a different cottage. The Sunflower Cottage. So they have our names there. And it's a nice, cute little cottage with some seating, some lovely lavender outside and you know, enter There's the kitchen this bed, sofa bed will convert into a nice twin XL bed a fireplace and uh, the toilet and the shower is on this side so that's good, they're separated. A mirror, nice. And a cute little bedroom. I was going to give this to my son, but now I'm having second thoughts. This is just too nice. I cannot. Maybe we'll split it. We'll share the room. But so cute. Oh my God, there's a little door leading to the outside. And I did see some horses back there. But some good sunlight coming in through here. i show you the horses another time, but that's where they graze. I'm really liking this kitchen section over here. You're standing like a zombie. Table there. 
Oh my gosh, this plant, I have this at home. I think it's called tea tree. So pretty the flowers are. Oh wow. And a magnolia right here. Gorgeous. There's my cat, my friend from the last video. He's waiting for Neil. <laughs> oh my God, so cute. This garden setting is nice. We stocked up the fridge with all the stuff we had from home. And oh, this is such a cute corner with a nice kettle. And that's a uh, oven. Everything you need toaster, coffee machine, microwave. We're on our first hike. A short hike, just 0.7 miles. Lovely, pretty blue flowers. Actually, I have this in my house also. Hmm. Nothing like the sound of a flowing creek or a babbling brook, whichever one captures your imagination. Okay, that's enough. That's enough. Iron tree that's fallen. And then they had to, it's blocking the trail. So they chopped off the pieces that were on the trail. And then the rest is left as is. I suppose it just kind of helps the environment. It just decays. Ooh, look at this. Wow. Oh my, someone's written here is 240 years old. Two hundred? Could it be? Because that's a carbon, um, carbon dating, something like that. I suppose it'll just decompose into the surroundings and provide fertilizer. Wow. Nice bench carved into the tree. Looks like a burnt tree. Quite a few of them. Maybe the California fire got to these trees here. That's why so many of them are fallen. And they're kind of, you can tell, they're all charred at the bottom. A random tree there, deep in the woods with white flowers. How pretty. Can I zoom in on my iPhone? Yeah. There. So nice. we're off to dinner it's cold and windy i took a shower finally ah that's better <laughs> so this restaurant is just down the road very very short walk so it should be good right yeah <laughs> so yeah just down this path you should close that because uh, you don't want deer going in there does it lock automatically okay and then just down that road where you see the cars, that's the parking for the restaurant. So we'll just walk down there. And our cottages are over in there. Nice eucalyptus trees along the way. How convenient. Your pleasure. Oh. So what stood out in the dinner was this chiopino, which is like a fish stew that originated in San Francisco, made by Italian immigrants.
back in the room and I'm so relieved my son took this sofa bed. Okay. He's that nice. Thank you for taking this room. So I'm also retiring for the night and I am on my nice big bed and I'm reading this book, this book on hiking that I got for my last birthday and that's come handy. Here it is, California hiking, 100 of the best hikes and this is the area we are. I've already tried this hike. I know where this one is right next to it. So this would be an interesting read. So that was day one and the next morning always look forward to a good hearty breakfast. I need to make coffee even though I've got all my chai supplies as I usually do. But uh, let's make coffee today and see how it is because they have this really good brand uh, from Pete's Coffee. It's called Major Tikkasins. I tried this for the first time. Quite a popular um, uh, blend I believe. So it's deep roast and I liked it so I'm going to have this coffee today. I think it's two tablespoons for a cup. Well, let's hope so. So we have two cups here. And I washed out the machine nicely, so it's a little wet. So soaked some almonds and raisins, got that along with me. Hoping they'd have some oil, but there's no oil, only some spices. Luckily, I bought along some sesame oil, so that should work. And there's butter too. folks breakfast is ready and did i show you the horses this morning let's go take a look yep they're out there grazing in the morning getting their breakfast in just as i am scrambled bujia because there was so much filling toppings in there that it didn't retain the shape so that's a nice breakfast and as if that was not enough we also have some sausages going on over there this is going to be a brunch a huge brunch we need to cook up the sausages because the our refrigerator is not that cold uh, and also there is no freezer so my son and I we did a whole lot of shopping before we left we bought ice cream and everything which we eventually ended up having like a smoothie because there's no freezer some fresh squeezed orange juice from home so I'm gonna have a bit of that too that's nice after sausages oh my this is a feast that never ends so nice from this window this is by the breakfast table so much for all that uh, reading I was doing up on the hiking after this luxurious decadent breakfast. We were so tired, uh, you know, so we just kind of laid bed for some time. So I'm lying in bed and look at my view from this window over there. Two horses happily grazing away. And I can hear sparrows in the background too. Ah, perfect. So we're ready to go on a hike. And we have some cats getting the attention it deserves. Oh, sorry. <laughs> it's dropping again. Oh, it's a cute, affectionate cat. I think I'm ready. Estero hike picked by my son. Seven miles, almost eight miles. I don't know if I'll make it. What's she doing? So that's all I have for part one of this video and come back and see if I made it on that hike and enjoy some beautiful gorgeous views of this lovely spot so close to San Francisco. Nature at its best. Really, you don't want to miss it. And don't forget to like and subscribe.